Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to all my lecturer. I am Noraini. My FYP is about the assessment of knowledge, attitude and practices toward biohazard shadow waste among students and staff at FSK UKMKL. Why I want to know the KIP of biohazard shadow waste? It is because this waste has a risk and potential to cause harm to us as users at lab, as well as the effect to environment which is contaminate water sources and soil as it become pollutant to environment. A proper management of this is need. This is start with assessment of KAP toward mark hazard. Later on, is implement at management level to comply so that we are live and have a safe and healthy environment, especially at FSK. Now, we look at the introduction. First of all, I want to define what is biohazard shadow waste. Biohazard waste is any waste that possesses hazardous characteristics and have potential adverse effect to public health and environment. This definition comes up from DOE of Malaysia. According to DOE, related to Environmental Quality Shadow Waste Regulation 2005, there are 77 types of shadow waste list under first schedule. They are coded initial with SW, which means schedule waste. As referred to this regulation, it shall have a special management of schedule waste as stated at Regulation 7, which cover handling, transportation, and disposal of biohazard waste. According to Kulkani SS in all, the property of hazarded waste in a form of physical, chemical, and microbiological risk. Here, she mentioned especially to healthcare workers at hospital, hospit and hospital. Ucha and all said, improper biohazard waste management can cause environmental pollution, unpleasant smell, injury, and may lead to infectious disease. It becomes health hazard to workers, public, flora, and fauna too. In addition by Alok Sharma in all, the absence of proper management, lack of awareness about health hazard, insufficient financial and human resource, and poor control of waste disposal are critical issues to have pay attention. Here is the important pictogram of international biohazard sign, the color coding for biohazard waste, and related symbol of properties by biohazard waste. We look for literature review for this KAP, firstly by Nur Hidayah Jejamin et al, who give a definition of schedule and hazardous waste in simple way. She said that any material when it is discarded with impunity and have hazard to human health or environment is classified as biohazard schedule waste. Glenn et al said, Hazard from waste disposal can be divided into two, which is hazardous product and infectious material. Soon, AG it all categorized that biohazard waste, including sharp disposal item, infectious waste, hazard waste, and chemical waste. Then Harji Shah it all said about the impact of improper management of biohazard schedule waste, which result in harm to biological system and environment. It is support by Mature et al. that the improper management at healthcare facility is a critical issue as threat to human health and environment. My research justification is look at our own management of biohazard shadow waste generated by FSK itself. We are institution for R&D pur purpose, which produce a waste of category same as waste by hospital and other healthcare establishment. The difference only in quantity, we generate less compared to them. That is also one of the main point that our waste is not strictly monitored by DOE in terms of enforcement. Even in use, regulation has term and part special for the management of disposal for shadow waste, but this is for industry. We are different in purpose. All those waste can be categorized as chemical waste such as acid, base and solvent from our lab, clinical waste such as tissue, microbe, shrink and needle, pressurized container and general waste. These waste need to be categorized and segregated. All object and material 
which has potential risk of injury, infection, and spill, need to have a proper management to prevent to prevent any incident and accident. Even from previous research, many findings about this KAP show that there is a lack in practice about biohazard schedule waste, even have a good knowledge about it. According to Ipsita Potlia et al., this scenario could be cause no formal training as well, no strict law at the same time. So, this time, this research for determining the KAP towards biohazard schedule waste among students and staff at FSK UKMKL. Research question What is the level of knowledge, attitude, and practices toward biohazard shadow waste among students and staff at FSK UKMKL? Objective First, we look at general to assess the level of knowledge, attitude, and practices toward biohazard shadow waste among students and staff at FSK UKMKL. For specific objective One, to determine the level of knowledge, attitude, and practices toward biohazard shadow waste among students and staff. Second, to determine the association between knowledge, attitude, and practices toward biohazard shadow waste among students and staff. And lastly, to compare between students of different program with knowledge, attitude, and practices toward biohazard shadow waste. Hypothesis The level of Knowledge on biohazard shadow waste is good but low in attitude and practices among students and staff at FSK UKMKL. This is summarized for research project for which include three main parts, which is refund questionnaire, data collection, and lastly data analysis. Methodology part. The study design is cross-sectional using a questionnaire start from February 2020 to January 2021. Research population, student and staff of FSK UKMKL, criteria for inclusion, undergraduate third and fourth year student because this group is ongoing to their FYP. They are supposed to have many works or activity at lab. Criteria for exclusion for admin and management staff who are not dealing with lab, for students who are on practical out of campus, sample size 240, sampling method, stratified random sampling as we know the number of population. For calculation of sample size using automated resolved sample size calculator, Estimated by confidence interval at 95%, margin of error 5% with 50% of response distribution, vanilla ICAT 240. Questionnaire design adapted from previous study by Alok Sharma et al. with slight modification. This questionnaire has four sections. The demographic information consists of age, sex, faculty, the knowledge section, content 10 item. Attitude section, content 10 item. Practice section, content 10 item. The behavior attitude section using 3 point Likert scale, which is agree, disagree, and not sure. Data analysis according to specific objective, respectively, using SPSS analysis for the first specific objective to determine. I use descriptive analysis. To determine the association between knowledge, attitude, and practices toward biohazard shadow waste among students and staff using chi squares to compare between students and staff with knowledge, attitude, and practices toward biohazard shadow waste using independent t test or man with knee. Gun chart ongoing since February 2020 until end of year for literature review and thesis writing. Distribution questionnaire from May to August 2020 during semester break. Why? Because this time is the right time because everyone feels free and better after examination. No stress or pressure influences a mind to fill up my questionnaire. 
and lastly this is a uh, references thank you